It's on. I wouldn't know where. Hello. Mr. Reviews it all again. I shouldn't say that. Okay. My friend got a bird scooter. He got it through an impound lot or something. He got it legally. Bird wouldn't come get it. And I think he paid like 20 bucks or got it free. I don't even remember. But he brought it over to me because he knows I like messing around with stuff. He goes, trying to get this thing going. Well, here it is. He brought it by. And I've already got it going. And I'm going to show you how. And the, the trick was... <laughs> the trick was, I have the exact same scooter that's not a bird scooter, it's a Zio... Zioami? Zio? This is my Zi... Zioami 365, I think that's how you say it. But this is mine, it just, it just works. And uh, you, instead of having to communicate with bird and say, hey, uh, can, we, can we ride this thing around? What you do is, instead of that, you just push this power button. And I've got it taken apart, because I've already got it working, but I thought, before I button it up, I'll show everybody. But it's just a power button, which is much easier than QR coding and getting a hold of, you know, everything. Getting a hold of uh, Bird, asking him if you can drive it, all that shit. So here, if you look at this, here's the part that you need. The Xiaomi, it doesn't have all that junk on it. It just has, it's this board here, and I looked it up, and you can, you can buy it on eBay. It's like 50 bucks or something. And if you have, if you've legally acquired a bird scooter, don't go out and steal one and use this sweet trick, but if you've legally acquired one, all you have to do is uh, buy this little piece, and you can look it up under 365 Xiaomi, I'll put a link in the description, all that stuff. But you can you can get it going for that. So I'm going to show you how it's done. It's very easy. Um, all we do is take this off. Come on over on this side. And you can see it better. So for this, you're going to need a just a regular Torx set, and I think this is a, to a T9. So so far, I'll list the tools. How about that? We're going to have a T9. Now, this is all kind of taken apart. I've already done it, but I'll go through the steps. So first you peel off the bird sticker, and then you take off. There's six of these screws. I just left two in for demonstration purposes. Here you will find, this is like a, maybe you'd call it a telecom board or something. And this, if you plug this in, and I've charged it up. If you plug this in, this is probably, it's probably looking for Bird right now and saying, hey, here's where I am. And I doubt Bird gives a shit because it had been sitting for a long time and they didn't go get it. So I unplug that. And then if you look under here, no, I don't think that's the way it goes. So take this thing off, this thing. And don't worry about, they're all different sizes, you don't have to really keep track of where they're at because there's only one way to plug them in. Now you just pull this out of there, like so, and then what you're going to see is this. This you just pull it apart, and then you drop that to the floor. This is the bird proprietary stuff, you won't be needing this again. Um, and if you pay close attention to that, that's the male connector. 
of a certain connector we're going to go look at. So this is from the old from the old harness here. And then this is the battery. So this is like so if the battery's actually dead on the on the motor on the scooter, this is your telecom battery. This is still there was a SIM in here, I took it out. But there's a SIM that goes in here, there's a SIM card holder, and then that's how they GPS locate you and uh, send information over the old web wirelessly. But yeah, so this is the proprietary part from Bird. These can both go in the garbage. We won't need those anymore. This scooter from here down, this is the Xiaomi, is the same as that Bird all the way down from what I've seen. So, and I've actually got it working already, but I'm just showing you how I did it. Um, the only difference here is this board versus that big telecom board that I took off. And I'm going to swap this over to that one, and I'm going to ride it around for you. How's that sound? You take off this plate again. Alright, I have got the board installed in the bird scooter and it's working fine as you can see. You can turn it on. That's the regular on where you just tap the button. That's a full power so it shows everything blue here. If you want the light to turn on, just push it one more time as I did. Or if you want to shut it off, push it again. Um, if you want, now actually, this one you can't I wish there was a way you could see that. Um, there you go. Well, you can kind of see that this is a little dimmer. And this is green. That's in eco mode. If you push it, if you push it twice, that goes to, and then you can see maybe that it's bright blue now. Eco. Blue, so that's how you do it. Um, you can hold it down to shut off. So here's how you do it. You, you go to, you hold it down all the way, long press, and then it'll show a little green one while it's turning on. Then you can push twice, and it goes to eco mode. And then you push once in eco mode, and then you've got your light on or off, and then you can just shut it off. To just turn on normally, you just push it. And that's in eco mode. You can shut off eco mode by double pressing. So you can have it start in eco mode if you if you uh, make your own firmware file. You can have that option selected. And uh, but I don't ever want to start it like that. You can always turn it back if your battery's dying. So um, I'm not going to do like on-screen recording with my phone. We're just going to do it this way. I know that exists, but uh, this is called uh, 365. Down G. Uh, we don't want that one. Yes. Um, this is called M365 Patched. This is the program where you can get into your, you can change your firmware on your bird or your M365, which is the same thing. Hit connect, it sees it, it beeps. Check the version. Now, here's the issue this is version 142. You can't, 141 and 142 are both locked down. You can't change it with the old, with the uh, M365 down G, the first one I opened. You can, however, change it with this patched one. And here's the way to do it. You go to check version, see what it is, okay, 142. Go to open bin. And uh, you should send your downloads. And you want to do... It's the 140. These here, 115 and 107, they're the battery management systems. I've been leaving it at 115. I've been having pretty good luck with it. Uh, let's go back to open bin. It's usually going to be in downloads. Here's the one you want. To lock, to unlock it, it's 140enc.bin. Okay, that one. It's the only one you can load, and the only thing you can load it with is patched, is the patched version, as far as I know. So you find that file. And I'll put I'll put all the links in the descriptions. 
and uh, it's open and it says this is expert it's flashing it and then you flash the bin now this is and we're coming up 99 it gives a little pause then it says it's done so then you can go to check version there we go focus please and we go to check version up here which is what I did and it says we got 140 so that's that's success now you can put the 138 on it so I'm gonna open bin go to downloads where I've got it I've already unwrapped it uh, there's two 138 patched ones or 138 they're all 138s but there's one in particular that I want and it's in this file again I'll put a link to it um, it's these 200 CFWs. You can make your own on another site, which I will put a link in, and then you can make your own and tweak it however you want. But I found that I just like this one, the 200 CFW. And then I'm going to flash that. And it stops. And we're just. Okay, it crashed because I hadn't. After you load firmware on it, you need to go ahead and restart the, not the computer, restart the scooter. And we're going to check check version, yeah, it's still at 140, hell yeah. And now we're going to put the new one on. This is the good one, the 200. Uh, the 200 CFW without the underscore. And then you hit flash, it's beeping, it's getting it. And then this is going to go up to 99, and it's going to start again. Okay, here it is. I swapped out, I swapped out the board, and uh, going to give her a rip. I did. I actually, I, I swapped out the board, and I did all the firmware. So now it goes really fast. You can get an idea how fast it is. But yeah, this is just a bird scooter. When you skid on it, it also does some regenerative braking in front and almost kills you. So it's not a real skidder, but that'll keep the tire good a little longer. I think that's what they're going for. But yeah, it works. In. Because burnouts, some sick burnouts. Can you do a wheelie on it? Can I do, I can't do a wheelie. I think you could maybe do a manual or something, but probably not. Jump off a curb with it. Thank <laughs> you.